this is the world's poorest country and there is a lot of bad things said about it that's why i'm going to spend the next 100 hours here to see with my own eyes if it's true or not when we arrived in the airport we saw something that we didn't expect the policeman was asking us to give him money for no reason so i was wondering if the rumors are true and after three hours we made it out of the airport to meet our guy welcome burundi i'm tired yeah it was already 5 a.m in the morning and the sun rose while being in the car our guide said something shocking that the average salary of workers in burundi is around 200 it's 100 dollars yeah it's around 100 in the united states it cost around 50 dollars to get a haircut let's see how much it cost here <laughs> are you ready no <laughs> All the people that are outside to see Nassim haircut. How much is normally haircut? One thousand. One dollar is two thousand. You got fifty cents no haircut. Actually, yeah, six seconds. My whole life. Finally, something I can afford. Nassim, you look sexier now. You agree, guys, right? Here's your 50 cents. Thank you. When we left the barber shop, I saw something that I wasn't expecting. This is a house of a person here. Look at this. People actually live here. Oh my gosh, this is an actual house. Look at all the kids outside waiting. Hello! <laughs> all the kids of the neighborhood came and surrounded me, but I didn't know why. They don't let my hand live. <laughs> They are still following us, that's it. On our way to the hotel, our guide suddenly noticed that we were running out of gas. There is one kilometer line that the cars are waiting to put gas. And there is no gas. <laughs> They're waiting for gas, it's not even there. I never experienced something like this. After a lot of phone calls, finally he found a friend that gave him some gas. And we were on the road again. Look at this guy. Here the bicycles are actually the main transportation of people. Only the rich can afford a car. After a long day, we finally arrived to the hotel. And we have another 80 hours until our flight back home. People told us mosquitoes is the most dangerous thing here to get malaria and you can actually die and Nassim is pretty scared about yeah. it my doctor advised me to not eat anything that is not sealed but the next morning someone invited us to his house for breakfast this is food this is for me wow <laughs> It's like yeah. bread. We're doing the exact opposite they told us to do. Look at the pig, it's so cute. Can I touch it? <laughs> oh. Okay, put it down. <laughs> <laughs> this is the toilet here, Nasim Kam. They do this and the shit like this probably. I'm learning so much. It's like the best day of my life. This is like a movie to me. I, it's so interesting. Thank you for hosting us in your house. Yeah. I just wanted to say, guys, that poor doesn't mean bad. Poor is like being tall or short. It's just a fact and doesn't define you. I wanted to see the poorest people in the poorest country. So we went to the orphanage. Phidias really wants to go to the orphanage, but they're not letting him. I know he really wants to, to see how things are here. I heard the kids, they were shouting. Yeah, they were shouting, Mutsunga, Mutsunga, white person came after a lot of time our guide convinced them to let us in but they didn't allow us to feel except this little kid that has malaria the biggest problem here is malaria you get malaria by getting mosquito bites that is dirty and it's one major disease here that hundreds of thousands of people die we had very limited time here so i wanted to see how their education system is and while we were walking towards the school the kids were very excited to see us because they had never seen foreign before and they came and surrounded us like we were the coolest thing in the world hey, I, love I love you so this is like a big event happening today at school look at all the school following us around you are the headmaster of all the school Yes. Wow, how many kids does the school have? 900. 900 kids, wow. The principal let us go inside a class and I was so excited. I am 100 years old. <laughs> 22. How old are you? <laughs> 17 years old. The most things that I learned, they are not only from school. They are online, from the phone. They can access all the clever minds. I said this because only 10% of the population has access to the internet. I left the class and felt inspired that these kids will have so much potential to help their country if they have access to the huge learning that the internet provides us. And I have a solution that I will tell you more about later. This personally is a life-changing trip for me because I got to experience things that 
I never believed that existed. Our guide left us in the hotel, but we wanted to explore the neighborhood. And while we were walking, we found strangers who were about to change the direction of our trip. Can you tell us some stuff about Burundi that we don't know? Everything is really cheap, I can say that. We have a nice tea, we have a nice coffee. You already drink that? No, we didn't drink coffee yet. We just go in our bike. Okay. We are so happy that we found you. <laughs> I understood the people here, they have an amazing balance on their head. They carry everything around their head. It's so beautiful. They are really famous for their coffee and tea, and we're going to try it now. We have a cappuccino. You want a cappuccino? Yeah. Try it. It's good, but it's not sweet enough. The next day, the stranger took us to see the biggest tea plantation in Burundi. All this green there is tea plantation. So peaceful, you cannot imagine. You have to be here. How the many fabrican? people are working here in the tea plantation okay. in this area? So all together people are 3,000 people. Among 3,000 workers, some women were working under the rain. So this is a mother of some children. She's working here in the rain with this thing on here. They have their babies on their back and they are working with the things. It's so interesting. You are beautiful, amazing. <laughs> How many kids How they have on average? Between five and 10 children. So they have Look at how many children you have here, it's so crazy. I was shocked to see that the kids couldn't afford to buy shoes and they were walking barefoot. Thank you for having been kind with me. I'm very happy, goodbye and good luck. Wherever you will be, I remember you. Thank you. The next day we went to see a cultural performance and on our way there, our guide told us another YouTuber made a bad video embarrassing the country. What's the worst video I have ever seen? And we want to correct it. And here in this video, we wanted to show both of the sides of the coin. We paid only $10 to see one hour private performance from 20 people. Hello people! Hey! Hello! They are going to perform now. Look at them. This is the best day of my life, period. Thank you, people! Thank you! Before our flight leaves in five hours, I wanted to visit their healthcare system. We came here to see the hospital. Of Burundi. So here in this country, the hospital is not that technological advanced. While we were working in the hospital, I saw one person that can't walk. He has been in the same bed for two years because the hospital doesn't have enough wheelchairs for all the patients. So I wanted to surprise him with one. I don't tell him. So we came here to buy a wheelchair. The thing is, he's probably not expecting it. That's the only one they have. Really? Yeah, people cannot afford this. It's yeah. used. But I don't think we have anything better option here. Imagine being paralyzed and not having a way to transport yourself. It will change his life probably. Oh my god, he will be so happy. This is 10,000 Burundian francs and it's five dollars. And this is the highest bill that they have. This is your money. And now we are going to deliver this chair to the person that needs it the most. We are on our way to the hospital to surprise our friend with his new wheelchair. We are here in the hospital and we're going to surprise him with this wheelchair. I ran a half marathon barefoot in the snow. Really? Yeah, and I was wow. two weeks after this on a wheelchair. And it's very difficult to yeah. be on a wheelchair. So you can imagine. Small imagine. Yeah. He's like that for years. Those people need help the most. He's a side terror. I told him to close his eyes for the surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. My flight will leave in one hour. That's why we went for a short ride outside. And as you saw, with only $200, we'll probably change this man's life. And we can change more lives together. So that's why we're here to make a fundraiser with the goal to raise $20,000. For every dollar that you donate, I will be matching the donations. So your donations will have double the impact. And we are going to come again and make a video here in Burundi By spending the money to buy food, medicine and other necessary things to help the people of Burundi I believe that inequality between the countries is our biggest problem These kids deserve equal opportunities like the kids in privileged countries And that's why we are here To raise awareness and make some small change Because I believe small change can make a big difference I invite you to click now the top link in the description and donate To raise money for 
the people that need it the most. We made it to our flight on time and now I will leave you with one beautiful quote. Overcoming poverty is not a gesture of charity, it is an act of justice.